Okay. I'm gonna tell you guys why you need a suppressor. So that's a nine millimeter can, and these are 147 grain, nine millimeter full metal jackets. These things are stupid quiet when you're not shooting steel. It's fantastic. I could definitely shoot it without my ears on, but I'm wearing them anyway just to be extra safe. But what I want to talk to you guys about today is obviously suppressors. So now is a really good time to buy a suppressor. If you guys are on the fence about buying a suppressor, I would highly recommend doing it. Um, there's no telling whether or not there's ever going to be any kind of legislation that passes that will ever take away the tax stamp and the waiting period and all that other crap that we have to deal with right now. But right now is a really good time because the waiting times are so fast. I have seen three people in the last month that have gotten their suppressors in under a week. There was a guy that went in one day, filled out the paperwork, and that same day he got his can approved. So that's insane because this can took a year for me to get. It, it was a very long waiting period when you spend like a thousand dollars and then they're like, okay, we'll call you eventually. It's, it's unpleasant. So just understand, Right now is a really good time to do it as far as the waiting period is concerned. The tax stamp is always going to be there unless laws get passed, in which case, I'm sorry. But as of right now, it's just like sales tax. You have to pay it. Just accept that. If you want a can, you're just going to have to deal with it. Don't stay on the fence. So many people are telling themselves, well, I might do it one day. I might do it eventually. Right now, if you buy the stupid thing, you might get it within a week, in which case you're not going to worry about the tax stamp anymore. They already know everything you buy anyway. Everything that you buy is traceable. If you're using a credit card, there's cameras everywhere. There's microphones in your pockets. Just get over it. It's fine. It's whatever. You know what? The whole world's tracking you. It's, it is what it is. They're trying to sell you stuff. The point is, I know that sounds really naive, but that's not the point of this whole topic. The thing is, if you guys are thinking about it and you're on the fence, just go ahead and do it. I'm going to tell you right now, suppressors are awesome. They will save your hearing. I, I put this thing on rifles and I use it when I'm hunting and I will take a single shot. It doesn't make my ears ring. I don't have to wear ear pro and it's so nice to not have to take earmuffs or earplugs every time that I go hunting. Some people prefer that and that's okay. But if you're willing to put the extra length on your barrel, it's not so bad. This thing weighs eight ounces. It's a nine millimeter can, but I can put it all the way up to 300 wind mag like pressures on rifle calibers. So I can use it on just about everything. I use this can on everything. Literally this goes on every gun that I own that has a threaded barrel. With that being said, it is a pistol caliber can, but I checked to make sure that the pressure rating was high enough to use it on every caliber that I have. So get you one can, get it for every gun that you can put it on if that's the way you want to do it. If you can afford to buy several cans, if you can't afford to buy a can, don't buy a can. Don't go buy something and tell your wife that dude on YouTube told you to do it. All I'm saying is that if you can only afford one can or that's what you prefer to do, get one that you can put on everything and just make sure that it does what you want it to do. Watch plenty of videos, do your research, whatever. I wanted something that was light, that doesn't weigh a ton, and then I could just put it on every gun. This used to be a serviceable can. I can no longer take it apart. That is my fault. Um, if I tried hard enough, I probably could, but then I probably couldn't get it back together. So take care of them. They are definitely an item that is uh, going to wear out over a long period of time. So just understand that it's not a forever thing. If you use it a lot, it will probably eventually need some kind of a repair. But that being said, they're a fantastic investment. So I highly suggest buying a suppressor if you're thinking about it. If you're on the fence, I strongly urge you to just go ahead and do it. Because right now, wait times are so short, you will thank yourself. In the, and again, sometimes bad things happen. Sometimes you may have to wait a long time anyway. There's there's a lot of clerical errors that happen in the ATF paperwork world. I deal with it every day. So just understand that it's not a guarantee you're going to get it that fast, but there's a much higher likelihood that you will. So that's it for this little video. I know I was kind of long and drug out. I wasn't really planning on doing that, but I just wanted to put this out there because a lot of people come into the store that I work at and are constantly like, I don't know if I should buy one. I'm really thinking about it, but I just go ahead and do it guys. I'm just telling you, if you can afford it and you've always wanted one, you're much better off doing it when you can get it a lot quicker. Cause that way you're not money out the door and then waiting God knows how long to get it. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all checking in. If you have any questions or anything, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll stay risen. Take care, be safe, and we will see you in the next video. America.